Okay, this is a video about the last hundred years of the church, the 20th century into the 21st century. And at 1906, it was April 9th, 1906, the Azusa Street Revival happened with William Seymour. He was the pastor and apostle with that ministry. And there was a healing movement that was birthed in the 1940s, but speaking in tongues and, and the, the nine spiritual gifts were basically released. The revelation of that at the Azusa Street Revival and the other Pentecostal meetings. In the 1940s, Kenneth Hagin, uh, Oral Roberts, all those guys started the healing movement. And there was great, you know, gigantic healings that happened and testimonies of healings. And lots of that stuff's not recorded because God didn't want it recorded. He wanted it to be a move of the spirit without the TVs and every ca video cameras coming in there. And then the 1970s, there was the charismatic renewal, the Jesus movement where the denominational churches received the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And the youth movement was the Jesus movement with uh, Keith Green and all the other musicians. There was Lonnie Frisbee who died of AIDS. She backslid. And there was lots of good things that happened. Lots of people born again, spirit filled during that movement. During the 80, 1980s, 1990s, the prophetic apostolic movement happened where the fivefold ministry was revealed with the apostles and prophets. And Kenneth Hagin, Kenneth Copeland, all those guys were involved with revealing truths about the fivefold equipping ministry. Then we get to the 1990s and the 2000s, early 2000s, the deliverance inner healing movement where people were getting revelation on deliverance of demons and the inner healing. And I was part of that movement as far as, you know, it was around the time I was born again, rededicated actually. I was born again as a child, but I was rededicated in the year 2000 and I learned so much during that time about the inner man and trying to get all the demonic forces out of my physical body my spirit soul and body and, and get deliverance inside of myself and then the plumb line movement happened with Arthur Burke and Arthur Burke's basically the guy that got me started on my revelation from 2009 onward and his movement started with the redemptive gifts teaching in 2001 it was released and it changed church history but it's very underground not not too many christians know about it and then the intercessors movement where there were so many prayer gatherings and prayer movements the ihop movement of 24-hour prayer and intercession and in between the ending of the plumb line peak of the that ministry and the intercessors peak the dreams, visions, and prophecies movement, which wasn't necessarily a movement, but the dreams and visions increased like crazy, and people started having dreams and visions every night, just about. And the spirit realm became more active, the, the activation of the spirit realm. And then from 2010 to 2021, in 2010 I came up with Kingdom Shape Theology, which is part of the Redemptive Gifts teaching that I added to it. And from 2000. 11 to 2015 there was the christian civil war i prophesied about where the doctrinal arguments just became insane where the, the hebrew roots movement started and doctrinal arguments were just going back and forth a lot of people left churches and offense and the, the ties and offerings basically stopped around 2010 2009 2008 because of the great recession and in 2014, God gave me a dream where he said, start tithing again. You're going to need to be tithing for the, the breakthrough of finances that you're going to have and everything. And I started tithing again. And I've slowly grown up to where I can give pretty much freely out of my own pocket. Even though I have very little money, I can still freely give. And now after all this comes 7-7-2021, July 7th, this year, the Father Revival is going to begin. And it's going to go all the way until 2070 when the rebirth of the bride happens in the, in the ninth dimension. And there's a lot I can say about that, but I'm not going to say anything about it. But the Father Revival is going to be the third. The Azusa Street Revival was the, the Holy Spirit Revival. And the Father Revival in 2021 is the, uh, with the 100-fold. The Spirit Revival was the 60-fold. The Father Revival was the 100-fold. And it's based on love. You know, the homosexuals are going to be reached, the Satanists are going to be reached, the Muslims are going to be reached, all these people groups 
that are fighting against the gospel are going to be reached to the Father Revival, and many of them become great Christians. So that's all I have to say about it. We're, we're coming into a mighty revival. There's going to be miracles. The restoration of the working of miracles is next. You know, tongues came first, then healing, then, you know, prophecy, dreams and visions, and now the working of miracles. And this is going to be an awesome time. You know, I'm going to be married to my bride, Kristen Marie Krantz. She's, you know, in contact with me, and we're going to be together, and there'll be a great leadership team with my pastor and his, his elder prophet. And we're going to work the fivefold ministry in the ninth dimension. It's going to be beautiful. So thank you guys for listening.